Joe Biden officially withdraws from US presidential race. Middle East conflict continues to escalate. Bangti, new economic development direction for people of semi-mountainous region. You're watching today's news on NTV channel. My name is Ha Zhang, your host. U.S. President Joe Biden has officially announced his withdrawal from the 2024 U.S. presidential race and endorsed Kamala Harris as the Democratic Party candidate for the White House. Joe Biden's decision comes as he faces increasing pressure from members within the Democratic Party following a troubling debate at the end of June against former President Donald Trump of the Republican Party. In the letter announcing his decision, Biden wrote, It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Biden stated that he will continue to serve as president until his term ends on January 20, 2025, and will make a national address this week. He also called on American Democrats to unite and defeat Donald Trump. Ending re-election bid is an unexpected decision for Biden's 50-year political career as he becomes the first U.S. president to not seek re-election after nearly 50 years. Biden's decision also put Democratic Party in a difficult situation as his replacement has less than four months to run the campaign. The situation in the Middle East continues to escalate alarmingly as the Israeli military and the armed Islamic movement Hezbollahs in Lebanon continue to intensify cross-border attacks while the Houthi forces in Yemen have also vowed to launch major attacks on Israel. According to Israeli military, its fighter jets have carried strikes targeting Hezbollah in southern Lebanon, including missile launches, observation posts and military structures in the areas of Aita Ash-Shab, Qiyam, and Yareen. These strikes came after Hezbollah fired missiles and deployed drones to attack northern Israel. In return, Hezbollah announced the attacks in response to the Israeli airstrike on a weapons depot in the town of Adlon on the night of July 20, injuring six Hezbollah members. On the same day, the Houthi in Yemen forces warned that they would launch deadly and unlimited attacks against Israel including sensitive targets, in retaliation for Israel's airstrikes on Yemen's port city of Hodeida on July 20, that killed civilians, destroyed 40 fuel depots and hundreds of tons of essential cargo. On the afternoon of July 22, at an online meeting regarding the progress of the construction of the 500 kV circuit 3 power line from Quảng Trạch, Quảng Bình, to Phố Nối, Hưng Yên, in the three provinces of Thanh Hóa, Nghệ An, Hà Tĩnh, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính requested involved units to overcoming all difficulties and speeding up the construction progress of the power line. According to the report by Vietnam Electricity Group, so far, the handover of all ground areas for pole foundations and routes corridors has been completed. Regarding the supply of equipment and construction, 1,132 out of the 1,177 pole positions have been handover, reaching 96% of plan, with additional with additional details for the remaining 45 pole positions being processed. In terms of the construction plan, by the end of June 2024, the construction and energization of the 500 kV Nam Dik 1 Thanh Hoa Power Line project had been completed on schedule. For the remaining three projects, including the 500 kW power lines from Nam Ninh Quan Thermal Power Plant to Phố Nối Quảng Trạch, Quỳnh Lưu and Quỳnh Lưu Thanh Hóa, all resources are being urgently concentrated on construction. Based on evaluation, the Prime Minister has instructed 
the investor, contractors, and units to strive to complete the 500 kW Circuit 3 power line project according to the set schedule. Coming up next are some of the news. One of the bright points in Vietnam's economy in the first six months of the year is the positive results of export turnover, which is estimated to reach 190.08 billion United States dollars, an increase of 14.5% compared to the last period. In particular, the domestic economic sector has shown strong recovery with a 20.7% increase in export turnover compared to the same period, higher than the overall increase by 6.2% and higher than the 12.3% growth of the foreign economic sector. Trade promotion and market expansion activities continue to achieve good results, combining the exploitation of traditional markets and the expansion to new markets. The United States continues to be the largest export market with an estimated turnover of 54.3 billion United States dollars, an increase of 22.1% compared to the last period, followed by Chinese market with 27.8 billion United States dollars, up 5.3% and EU market with 24.46 billion United States dollars, up 14.1%. According to the Preventive Medicine Department under the Ministry of Health, Vietnam has recorded six cases of diphtheria since the beginning of the year, including one fatality. Diphtheria already has specific vaccines and antibiotics for prevention and treatment. In recent years, the country only recorded some cases in areas where vaccination coverage has not reached 100% of the target population. To prevent diphtheria outbreaks, experts recommend that people should get fully vaccinated against the disease on time to ensure the most effective disease immunity. The vaccine provides up to 97% protection. The body only needs two to three weeks after receiving the full dose to develop immunity to the disease. According to the National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting, Storm No. 2, internationally named as Propirun, is developing unpredictably, stronger than expected and continuously changing its path. Early this morning, the storm made landfall on Hainan Island, China, with wind speeds near the storm's center at about 100 km per hour. It then entered the Gulf of Tonkin and may make landfall in Kuangmin province tonight or tomorrow morning. Due to the effects of Storm No. 2, the northern provinces will experience prolonged heavy rain, with a high risk of flooding in low-lying areas, landslides, and flash floods in mountainous regions. Vang tea is a type of herbal plant with many uses, such as cooling the liver, relieving heat, reducing blood fat, and aiding in weight loss. However, the natural source of Vang tea is reducing while the demand for the consumption is high. Given this fact, people in Taitang semi mountainous commune in Yantang district cultivate Vang tea on a large scale in their gardens, bringing high income. Recognizing Vang tea as a native herbal plant that is easy to grow, suitable for hilly land, resistant to disease with a long exploitation cycle. Mr. Nguyen Van Ting in Tây Thanh commune brought Vang Thi plants from the forest to grow in his home garden on an area of more than 3,500 square meter. After one year of cultivation, Vang Thi can be harvested and easy to sell to consumers. This tea is easy to grow mainly on hill land. After cut and dried it, we got one ton of dry tea. Seeing the increasing trend of cultivating Vang tea in home gardens, but also the difficulty of obtaining tea seedling due to the lack of natural resources, the Thanh commune has launched the project Development of Vang tea Plants. The Communes Farmers Association has worked with some large-scale farming households to provide free seedling to the people. Until now, the entire commune has nearly three hectares of Vangti plants. 
Currently, most people are independently finding market, so the association is seeking partners for linkage and consumption, initially for raw consumption, and in the future for processing into extracts or other products from Vang tea. The price of Vang tea is quite high and is easy to sell. In addition, the cultivation and care of the plants are not too difficult. Vang tea plants are also suitable for the local soil conditions. Therefore, the Tang commune is keeping continue to expand the plantation into a raw material area, aiming to turn Vang tea into an old cope herbal product of the commune. The last news has ended our bulletin today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.